Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, Theo was thinking about taking the initiative for all time, Ross was battling with the repercussions from her companionship with Sullivan. There was a personal call and Ben had befuddled sentiments about the clear-headed house fire. Likewise, here Station 19's own Danielle Saver made her first time at the helm, as opposed to my extremely human misstep prior in the season. Normally, she made an exceptional showing, and it was a moving episode for her to become acclimated to on the grounds that there were such countless different perspectives to adjust, especially as the season is attracting to a nearby. That was very much an accomplishment. Various moving pieces settled on up the decision alone, which likewise depicted a sad situation with high stakes and critical profound repercussions while adjusting the feelings of a few members. There were a few horrible viewpoints to the impact. Each parent's most prominent bad dream materialized and seeing that mother wailing while learning the report about her youngster was truly grievous. All things being equal, we didn't have to hear it. Seeing her crying on display was adequate. What's more, I especially delighted in, for absence of a superior word, the grouping in which Ross gets the rucksack, strolls over to the lady, gives her the pack, and solicits her. The person who really considered protesting about the robbery, as though the thing they were doing didn't make any difference, as though individuals they needed to save or lose didn't make any difference, was called out by Maya, and it was perhaps of the most fulfilling second. Individuals are so egotistical and just worried about their own advantages, and after her shriveling analysis, that Bonhead looks even-handedly embarrassed. Jack imparted a sincere connection to the man in his later years. While most of the others battled to manage every one of the dire issues at the scene, they had a troublesome mission in front of them. Yet, in this hour, Beckett and the high schooler young lady were a brilliantly unforeseen turn of events. It features how little we really have some familiarity with Beckett and the fire warrior and man he can be. His fixation and other individual issues which have troubled him down made him intense around the edges and without a doubt difficult to endure in general had shaded all that we have found out about him hitherto. We've gotten looks at him being prepared to do quite a lot more, and the season made a decent showing of scatteringing those peaceful minutes all through. Who would have figured Beckett would perform well during an emergency one call? When they cleared the blockage, there was nobody I could imagine who might be more reasonable to sit with that group, converse with her, and help her vibe as great as possible about a horrible occasion that would torment her until the end of her life. He could connect with her through his own insight, opening dependent upon her in a way we have never seen. Here and there, he has changed because of his non-appearance. Vic saw it immediately. It likewise demonstrated that he had changed. From the moment he got back to the station, individuals felt a little unsure about him. They can't distinguish him and are uncertain of what to think about his appearance. It was hard to discern whether he was tell the truth or on the other hand, in the event that he was simply exploding smoke individuals' arses. Furthermore, his demeanor of appreciation were stunning positively yet in addition disturbing. Yet, the paw hammer settled on the understanding authority. It might have effortlessly been some backhanded assault on Theo, however it wasn't. Almost, I wish it were. In spite of the fact that Beckett didn't finish recovery, Theo let it slide, he actually holds himself like he's gained some headway. It would be a disgrace on the off chance that it took any such thing to return him once again to the individual we once respected and revered. The season has been challenging for a few of the characters, and most of them have attempted to be unlikable. The charming thing about Beckett is the means by which his story has in every case strangely resembled Maya's. Theo and Powell, who is, best case scenario, a mixed bag, are excited at the possibility of him standing firm on the footing for all time. In any case, Andy is competing for it, and she has previously shown that she is able. She was an odd pick, yet it attempts to help Ross and Sullivan's affection story. She actually focuses on Sullivan, and their relationship has created to where they can consider each other dependable and impart as though they are lifelong companions. Regardless of whether their romantic tale has quite a while in the past finished, there are still hints of a one-of-a-kind connection there, regardless of whether it's challenging to classify. Sullivan is harmed and being so resolutely this moment, Ross is forbidden, however he won't allow anybody to treat her discourteously. Andy was the best person to be in Ross' corner, and when Ross was prepared to surrender, Andy effectively convinced Ross to battle. Ross, who is presently in the place of not having either, needs both the man and her vocation. 
Due to some out-of-date administrative noise that appears to punish her more brutally than every other person, it's awful for everybody. You pull for Ross and believe that she should win since she has rapidly laid down a good foundation for herself as a critical part of the show and has changed so wonderfully this season. She has fought as long as she can remember, so she can't surrender now. It was magnificent to see Andy reimburse the blessing, particularly given how significant it was for her to help Andy when she really wanted it. I additionally like that Maya has apologized to Ross, offered help, and shown regard. It appears as though we're in a circumstance where these women can see the value in each other and comprehend that they're in the same boat regardless of the sexism and difficulties of the field they work in. Ben remained at the clinic for most of great importance, watching out for Milo and getting to know Milo's mom. She, as well, felt awful for ousting her child and was feeling much better to be freed of him due to his dependence. It was quite troublesome material, however the urgent second came when Milo stirred and blamed Ben for being to be faulted for everything, pronouncing his scorn for him. It won't be too early in the event that I ever need to observe Benjamin Warren on the edge of crying while at the same time grasping his chest as though to fight off a fit of anxiety or breakdown. I felt absolutely crushed for this man. It was vast that he was treated like his endeavors to save each individual in that house weren't adequate, or that he didn't mind subsequent to striving to the place of death. Ben didn't merit that since he has been under a lot of pressure. Nonetheless, this not entirely settled to smack everybody upside the head. So, we are right here. He is getting an award for his grit in making that save. Yet, he couldn't acknowledge the award since he is condemning himself. The communication among Jack and Travis was among the hour's more odd minutes. For the beyond a few seasons, they have been confused regarding how to manage Jack. Then, at that point, at the weirdest second, they have essentially let it out, with Travis at arbitrary recognizing that Jack has improved in spite of reliably having the most unpredictable person advancement of any person, including the latest ones. His whole brief plot in this episode was that he became nostalgic and genuinely put resources into a case. Nonetheless, it's far desirable over his falling, striking his head, and experiencing a blackout at irregular. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.